Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of April 28th. Okay, your theme for the week is the Two of Swords. Swords is the element of air, of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. You can see the sign of Libra here, um, very balanced, the sign of the scales, and below it the full moon. Uh, we, the idea of this card as the theme for your creative week is trusting your intuition rather than trying to weigh the pros and cons. Often when we're working on a project, trying to make a decision about where to market, how to market, what to do, we're trying to be... Um, use our minds back and forth back and forth back and forth the scarf is across the eyes here to have to signify going within to make trust your intuition trust your instincts and do what feels right for you to do in relationship to your art and your work the focus for the week is the five of wands all the fives are a challenge um, they create change, they call you to action, and wands is the element of fire, of spirit, of creativity, career, and work. And you can see this, what looks to be one tree trunk with these five figures coming out, kind of doing battle with each other, um, hitting each other with their wands. So your focus for the week is what role or what creative project has to take priority. Instead of trying to make everybody happy this week and give time to everything and everyone, what is the role that takes the ascendant position that is the priority um, for your creative energies this week? The action card is the Seven of Swords, back to swords, element of air, mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. And here we have this figure creeping in with the set, uh, five swords in his pack, two others here, <clears throat> that he looks like he's coming in to take. So what is um, your action for the week is to look at what are the beliefs and attitudes that are sabotaging your belief in yourself? What is coming in the back door about your work and about your abilities that feels like it's stealing away your self-confidence and the belief in the work that you do? And then finally, the gift, wonderful gift, wonderful way to end what looks to be a little bit of a challenging week. Um, the Magician, he's a major arcana card. You can see him in his laboratory here, all his books of magic behind him and alchemy. Um, here's his test tubes and all the signs of alchemy. Here's the energy moving down in to the test tube. The idea of the magician is that he can take the idea, the energy, the spirit, the ether, anything that you can't touch, taste, or feel, and move it into the physical realm, make it real, ground it. So the magician is here to help you this week take those ideas and um, desires and things that you have and ground them and make them real in your through your creative work. He's the ultimate creator. Well, I guess some would say that Empress is the ultimate creator, but um, very much the creator and the ability to make things happen. So you look at the theme for the week. It's about the Two of Swords. Um, how are you going to make choices and decisions? Are you going to try to do the pros and cons, weigh it back and forth, or are you going to trust your instinct and your intuition? Then we're going to take focus on um, what is the thing that needs most of our time and energy this week. I mean, you may have five creative projects you're doing. All of us creatives create in more than one way and more than one thing at a time. But to keep this kind of energy from going on so it's all stirred up and chaotic, focus on one thing. What needs to take the ascendant this week and uh, take your time and energy. Then take action on guarding yourself against letting others ideas, beliefs, and attitudes sabotage and take away from your belief and confidence in yourself and your work. And then finally, look for the gift of the magician, either that's that energy for yourself or somebody else who can help you make things happen. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.